Number nine, ninth day, is Besimcha. One shall learn Torah Besimcha. Rashi, Besimcha lafisha eina shechino shoro metorch tzar, eno metorch simcha. The shechina doesn't dwell only metorch simcha. So what does that have to do with Kenyan Torah? Of course it does. Even an individual that learns Torah on his own, only he and a Kodesh Baruch Hu has Shechina. So Rashi explains. So why is Simcha essential? Because Ein Shechina Shero Elo Metoich Simcha. In Menachas Daf Yud Chesumid Aleph, Chazal described a beautiful picture. Rabbi Lazar ben Shemua is teaching Taira. Who was Rabbi Lazar ben Shemua? One of the five great disciples of Rabbi Kiva in Yavama Samach Beis. Chazal tell the story, the tragedy of the demise of 24,000 Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva. And this story is relevant because it actually happened in Pesach Latzeres, between Pesach and Shavuos, in the very same period as we are dealing with Memches Kinyon Taira. Rabbi Rosa ben Shemo was the youngest of the five later Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva. So in Menachas Dafiut Ches, he's teaching Taira. One of the Talmidim asks a question. Rabbi Loza ben Shemur responds, and Tzav Uponov Shal Yosef HaBavli. One of the Talmidim, one of the great Talmidim of Rabbi Loza was Rabbi Yosef HaBavli. And his face radiated with Simcha Satayra. And the Rebbe, Rabbi Loza ben Shemur, was so moved, Zalgu Einav Demois, tears, were rolling down his cheeks. He was crying, not out of pain, not out of despair, but out of simcha. He was moved to tears. And he says, Ashleichem talmida chachamim, shedivre teire chavivim aleichem abiyoisa. Yes, one needs to learn teire b'simcha. And that is the reason one shall not learn teire on Tisha B'av. Because Tisha B'av is the day of ultimate sorrow and sadness. Torah Maik Sivva, the Kudai Hashem Yeshorim, Mesam Chelev. It is the nature of Torah. It is the way to learn Torah. B'Simcha. The introduction of the great Avnei Nezer to a Sefer Egle Tal al Melech Shabbos is very famous, very well known. And this great Hasidic master, who happened to be one of the Torah giants of this generation, speaks about Simcha Satayla. He was the son-in-law of the Kotzke Rebbe. And he writes, this is what I was makabal from my father-in-law and my great teacher, the Kotzke Rebbe. The importance of learning Torah by Simcha. And the Egle Tal writes, many Hasidim think, or rather some Hasidim think, that if you enjoy your learning, that's not defined as Torah Lishma. Many or some Hasidim think that Torah Lishma means learning because you have to learn, because it's an obligation, not because you enjoy your learning. And that's a great mistake. Ikar Dar Koshel Torah is learning Torah B'Simcha. Whom is he coming to negate? Who are those Hasidim? I think he is referring to one of his contemporaries and other great Rebbe in Poland, and that's the Alexander Rebbe. In his Sefer Yismach Yisrael and Parshas Bechikoisai, he writes exactly the same. And he argues, those Lam Dunham that learn because they enjoy the learning, that is not Torah Lishma. Torah Lishma is learning for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because that is the Kodesh Baruch Hu's will. 
I learn because I must learn. I learn because I have to learn. I learn because I'm obliged to learn, not because I enjoy it. And the egg laid towel disagrees. The way I understand it, and I wrote this in various different sources in my Svarim, Elo Elo Divrei Elohim Chaim. Of course you should enjoy your learning. That is Dar Tisha and that is exactly why you cannot learn on Tisha B'Av. But one learns not only because he enjoys his learning. He is aware that this is a mitzvah, that this is an obligation. Each and every one of us has his ups and has his downs. He has the peaks of excitement and sometimes more difficult days. One needs to learn, bearing in mind and being aware, yes, this is a mitzvah, this is a chiyuv. And he would learn even in those rare moments that he might not enjoy his learning. I once said, maybe with a touch of humor, Elu ve'elu divrei Elohim chayim. Elu ve'elu means perek elu metzias, which is maybe the most lumbish of perek in the entire shas. And elu treifes, which deals in the sechet chulin with all the various different treifes, all the blemishes that we find in the body of an animal or of a bird. Not much lumbish in perek elu treifes. Elu ve'elu divrei Elohim chayim. You learn, you need to learn everything. But the way to learn is definitely, definitely with Simcha. So the great of Chaim of Alazim, the greatest disciple of the Vilna Gaon in Ruach Chaim, that is of Chaim's co- commentary on Mesechet Avais, the Ruach Chaim writes, B'Simcha, Ki halaymed B'Simcha B'Shu'achas, Yilmod Yuter Harbe, so Reb Chaim Evarazu says, both on the practical level, when one learns with Simcha, you will achieve far more than when you learn without Simcha. And the Torah is the Shashua of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's Rabbi Yoyne Perik Beis Aloche Yud Aled, Mesechet Tovois, Kisha Ato Omel, Da'elef Mi Ato Omel. And I'm quoting Rabbi Yoyne. Ha'toyro Hesu Shashu of Shalak Kodesh Baruch Hu. The Posek says, Aya Etzle Omoin Vishashu of Yoyim Yoyim. And the Kodesh Baruch Hu gave us Taira. We, as well, should be Mishtasheh Bedivrei Taira. How does one translate Shashua? Shashua is pleasure. Shashua is fun. You need to derive extreme pleasure from your learning. You need to enjoy your learning. And that is the bracha we say every day in the morning. Vaharevno, Hashem Elokeinu, es divrei teiras chovefil, befinu. Vaharevno, Rabbeinu Menoichem Perik Zayna Velchestvela interprets. And we find the same in Abu Darham. And Rashi, in Brochus Daf Yud Aleph, V'harevna, Meloshen, Shiyu Divrei Torah, Arevim, Umesukim, Beficho. You should enjoy the sweetness of Torah. Many, many years ago, I remember when I came in Uni City, New Jersey, once to visit my great Rebbe, the Kleisenberger Rebbe, the Rebbe of Tzans. And he was a giant, a giant of our times. I think I shared some experiences with you in the past, and I hope to do so in the future. And as I walked into his room, it was in his later years, he was ill, very weak, and he surprised me with a question. And he asked, one Posik says, Eretz Zavaz Cholav Edvash. So the Posik puts milk before honey, dealing with the abundance of the land of Israel. But the other Posik in Shira Shirim says, Dvash v'cholav tachas l'shoneich, honey and milk, under your tongue. So this Posik puts the honey before the milk. Why is that? I responded, like Chazal teaches at the beginning of Masechet Chagiga, 
We are your disciples and we drink your water. And he responded, as the Gemara says in Chigiga, Afalpiken. And he asked me, do you have an idea? And I said, I do. And he asked, so what are you thinking about? Share it with me. And I said, when the Pesach speaks about the actual abundance of Eretz Yisrael, milk comes before honey. Because milk is far more important and essential than honey. Without milk, there would be no humankind. An infant, a baby, could only consume his mother's milk. Without milk, there would be no mammals on this world, and planet Earth would be ruled by the reptiles and amphibians. Not a very friendly place. Without honey, we could get along very well. Probably our biggest problem would be, wow, what do you do with the apple, if you can't dip it into honey? I believe the Torah giants will find a solution to this problem. So when dealing with Eretz soil, milk comes before honey. But the other Pasuk, Dvash V'chol Avtachas L'Shoinech, is interpreted by Chazal, referring to Teira. When it comes to Teira, you need to put the honey before the milk. Because honey symbolizes the sweetness of Teira, while milk symbolizes toil, Omo. Honey symbolizes the sweetness of Teira, as the Pasuk says, but on Brochest of Samach Gemara Medbeis, Chazal interpret another posik, Ki mitzcholav yoitzi chema, referring to Yegiyas Teira, to toil and Teira. So when it comes to Teira, put the honey before the milk. It is only if we share with our Talmidim the sweetness of Teira that we could really expect them to invest the energy, the strength it takes to the toil of Torah. And that is why the Pesach says, Dvash v'chalav tachas l'shoinech. So we could very well appreciate the importance of Simcha. And Chazal say, Ein Simcha ke Simcha sa So this is what I've been trying to do all my life, putting the Dvash before the Cholov. Having my Talmudim partake in the sweetness of Torah, hoping that they will love Torah and they will find the energy and the strength to dedicate their lives, their very being, to Talmud Torah, to Arbatzis Torah, to the dissemination of Torah. So Simcha definitely is one of the fundamental Kinyoni Torah, as Chazal teach us, Simcha. Have a day full of simcha. Have a beautiful and wonderful day.